Hey, and welcome back everybody. If your company is growing and your teams are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you might be thinking, do I need a staff intranet? So today I'm going to talk about the importance of a staff intranet and why you might want to consider it for your teams and your organization as it grows. A staff intranet doesn't necessarily need to be for the entire organization, although that would be great. But no matter what, your team is going to need to have a home. It's going to need to have a place where they go to to refer to all of the information and get the support that they may need. So a staff intranet, I find, is a great way of doing that. And without further ado, we'll jump into the reasons for that. So number one, information sharing. An intranet will provide a centralized location for everything your people may need. We're talking about company news, company updates, policies and procedures, guidelines, templates, all of that jazz. You can store everything in a, in one single space, one single source of truth for your entire organization or for your team. It makes it so easy for people to stay up to date on what's happening within the company, what's happening within the team, if it's a huge team we're talking about here, or department. And you might think that you're sending emails out like once a week to give people information, but to be completely honest with you, this form of communication where you're shoving things into people's inboxes should only be used as a prompt to take them to the centralized location where everything is stored. Because if you push out something by email, if somebody is not in the office, then finding that email may become problematic or it may be lost. They might be thinking, oh, there's this thing that I needed that I saw in one of the email updates, but I can't remember which one it was and you, you're searching and you're trying to find it in your inbox and it's just it's just a hopeless thing so to make things easier for everyone just have one centralized location another reason why you want to have this for information sharing as well is because when you don't have one centralized location best believe me there are people in your organization that are going to be creating their own little centralized location so your teams might go off rogue and start creating different variations of staff intranets or team intranets and some may be good some may not be good and that ends up creating silos sometimes so if you have a staff intranet it allows that one centralized location for all of your information and important updates number two collaboration and teamwork a staff intranet can be a great way for encouraging collaboration across the organization it gives people a place to input ideas and to share their thoughts on certain topics. It allows touch points to see what other teams are doing and how they're getting on and a way to start up conversation with somebody who might be in a different team. Let's say for instance, the marketing team may not have that much interaction with the development team, but seeing what they're doing, they're able to get a better idea of what's happening in that department and to find ways of working with that team to collaborate and create more value for the organization and for its customers. So it's a great way to, the internet is a great way to foster and to spark that kind of collaboration. Leaderboards are a great way to kind of insert a little bit of gamification and you can gamify collaboration where people are interacting with each other or even departments that might be doing cross-functional activities and projects together. You can then celebrate this and showcase this. That becomes a way of embedding this collaborative culture within the organization because people can see the work that's happening even if they're not involved in it at a high level of course and they can also see what happens when people do that work are they getting praise for it or are they getting you know kind of shoved to the side and forgotten about when they do that kind of collaborative work so if you're celebrating that type of work as an organization it, in, it encourages the rest of the company to keep collaborating with each other and creating value within this way an intranet is a great way of solidifying and embedding the culture that you want to see by rewarding the right type of behaviors number three 
an intranet can be great for improving communication and let me give you an example of this because as you know there's so many communication tools out there such as teams and slack that people use to communicate on a day-to-day -day basis but i want to specifically focus on the intranet for communication here let's say you have a template library on your intranet and people are able to comment on the usefulness of the tool or the template and make changes and iterate. If you have this open communication where you can see different people coming in and putting their two cents in and saying what they feel about it, then you're able to iterate faster. To do something like this, this specific example, you're gonna need to have somebody who owns that template and to have a regular cadence for when they update it. But having something like that on an intranet and getting feedback in real time allows you to really create assets that are totally and completely useful for the people who are using it and not wasting people's time updating things in the way they feel it might need to be updated because they're the owner of the asset. An intranet can also help to shed the weight of misunderstanding and to reduce that poor communication that may happen. Because <clears throat> say for instance, you release a stock update video on stuff that's happening within the organization. Maybe you're reviewing your KPIs, maybe you're reviewing your performance and somebody doesn't understand something they are able to ask questions openly and receive an answer immediately. And then you don't have 10 people asking the same question and then having to respond to 10 different people. In, or instead of having to release a new video, you can just put a caveat over it or pin a note saying, clarity here guys, this is what we meant by X, Y, Z and then everybody is able to see it and no one loses the message, which is important for clarity and understanding what is going on. Number four, training and development. As we said, the intranet is really the website for your employees. It's a central hub for everything and that includes training and development, whether that's just a link to another platform or it's integrated within the intranet itself, it doesn't matter training and development resources should be accessible from the intranet in whatever way you want to make it acceptable. Number five, employee engagement. A staff intranet, it's a place to collaborate and to communicate and to improve. If your staff are engaged with the intranet, it is likely that they are engaged with each other and with the organization. Having a staff intranet is a great way for bolstering engagement and bringing everyone together especially in a remote or hybrid environment. Now, we have just covered five reasons why it's important to consider a staff intranet. If you don't have one already, I hope that this was really useful and insightful. And if there are intranet tools that you're using out there that you love, let me know what they are because I am fascinated by this stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.